think she's, she, I don't think she's watching. What's her? It's not streaming. No, I turned it, no, she got it to work. I turned, she, I turned off the limit though. Okay. She's Oh no, no, I turned off the limit so she'll be watching TV. She, she said she couldn't do anything. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Meditators. During those eight hours, the eating is going to happen during the yeah, six minute breaks? One of the gatakas will the be a lunch. Yeah, so you'll yeah. have like a silent, mindful eating yeah. lunch. Mm -hmm. okay. But there's usually, you can bring your own goodies, or there's usually like a little spread, and then sometimes two to six minutes you'll eat a little something, but you're, you're just not hungry. Yeah, it's location? amazing how much you don't want to eat. What's that? Where's the location? Here. Yeah, so you can have here, you can like do a walking meditation around here because it'll be completely empty. We'll have yoga mats, so you can do it in Shavasana. Um, or standing, or you know, walk, you know, especially if you're super tired, you can be staring at a wall. Yeah, you can, you can do the uh, try not to snore meditation. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 this is a great technique that uh, somebody showed us. In uh, you have your, your, you know, you're lying down in, in lying meditation, and then you have one arm up, and it's amazing how it will like not like resting, not up like that. <laughs> but uh, like your elbows down and your hands up, so you really you it'll bring you back because your arm will just you know, and then it'll prevent you from full on snore. <laughs> it won't stop you from the little snore. <laughs> little. <laughs> anyway, but you won't go full <laughs> the full snore. Yeah, the full, full snore. <laughs> but invariably, there's always somebody. It goes into full snore. <laughs> yeah, everyone else is jealous. <laughs> <laughs> Someone has the guts to go to full snore. Yeah. Sometimes. I mean, in the tree, some people <laughs> <laughs> nudge you, even though you're not snoring. It sounds just like you snoring, you're leave with Steve Christine. <laughs> yeah, because you're, you're supposed to actually, uh, as an act of compassion, poke the person. And then afterwards, she's like, it wasn't yeah. me. <laughs> 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 and I'm like, meditating. <laughs> 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 There's an issue. Oh. There's an issue. What could it be? Charlie, not for me. Another question. So, what proportion are going to be led? There's a schedule. Oh, okay. uh, I think we have every 
four, like the very first meditation, every fourth meditation will be led. I mean, we can do whatever we want. If we want more, we can do more. People can say. Yeah. Sometimes it's hard to just go off into silence. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And sometimes it's, you know, it's nice. But so we, last time we did, just like every, every it was four. four. Yeah. Yeah. And then I had one. Yeah. Well, it was cool because um, you've got like a focus and then you've got three 24 minute ones to focus on that and then yeah. the next meditation is led and there'll be a different focus yeah. kind of a thing. Um, yeah. But if we need to do it, like, if people are nervous and they want to have it more led, we can totally do it more. Yeah. It's fun. But I think you should have some silent. Oh, yeah. It's yeah. a good experience. The power builds in the room. Yeah. Mm-hmm. An un- unmistakable power. You know, focus, or focus builds in the room after a certain amount of time. It's quite amazing. Even when people come in and going, because well, no, will people be doing it this time? I'm, I'm trying to figure that out. I'm thinking yeah. I can probably keep it open, okay. you know, and then we'll, I'm just trying to figure out how to gauge it because before we had a door yeah. lock, because we used to lock the door on the twenty, um, and open it on the six Hi. minutes, so people could come and go in the six yeah. minutes. So people were like, some people were like three hours, and then they yeah. would have to go, and they would come in for a certain amount of go because then they would go. That was happening kind of all day, and some people were there. For me. Maybe if this door that's good shot. Yeah, maybe, maybe yeah. Um, so, um, in the last meditation, so you were saying that, you know, you kind of like disappear, right? And things sort of come back, right? That uh, That's called losing your object. And... Uh, <coughs> Everyone does that, you know, and everyone does, and the, that's the beauty, that's the, the beautiful uh, sort of um, eye-opening thing about starting to meditate is realizing that it's, it's not so natural to actually just hold my focus. It's like, whoa, you know, off I go. Like I was saying, my first meditation class, I slept, I slept through most of it, um, no matter what I did. Coffee didn't know nothing helped. It just would just be gone, you know. Um, but really, um, every every single time that you kind of come out of that and then land back on your object, that is progress. Every single time you do that, you are tr- you know, training your mind. Like, and it might not seem like it. Like I'm a I'm a guitar player, okay. Uh, at least I'm trying to be a guitar player, and I take uh, lessons from a uh, uh, camera, <coughs> amazing teacher, and he's like this mad genius, he's way beyond me, and he teaches me, and I'm always just at the edge of my understanding, not, not, not even there, really, but he gives me tons to practice, like scales, and arpeggios, and like repetitive, repetitive stuff. And you know, I've been taking lessons from him for quite a while now. And I recently went through a thing where, like, man, I was just like, I'm never gonna. It's not. I'm never gonna get better. There's just too much. There's too much. Like, I, I suddenly became aware of all, like, the vast field of all that I couldn't do, and and probably wouldn't be able to do fluently for years. You know. Uh, <coughs> But then, I, I, I play in a worship band every Sunday. And, but then the last Sunday, something happened. And I, as I was practicing for the Sunday, a bunch of stuff came together. And I was playing way more musically. I was way more relaxed. And the stuff that I'd been practicing started to come into my hands. Where uh, the day before, I was like, man, it's just... Uh, I'm not making any progress, you know? Um, and that's what meditation is like. It can feel like you're never going to you know, stop the monkey mind from chattering. And then just, it's it, you reach a, a whole other level. So I did, I'm saying that to encourage you not to get discouraged by, the, by losing the object over and over and over again. Um, 
I, when I first started to meditate, I can't, I personally can't imagine anyone having a noisier mind than mine was. I don't, I can't imagine anyone having, that was, I was, I think, borderline schizophrenic. Truthfully. I think I was bored. I mean, I was, I would sit there and I would hear so many voices in my head that um, <coughs> it felt like, uh, it really did feel like radio stations in different languages even. Just like, just this array of like, static and noise and voices and conversations. It just, and I would sit there and think, I'm crazy. I'm ne this is never going to stop. This is never going to stop. And I just diligently went at it. And then one day, it happened. There was silence for the briefest point. But it was so profound that I was like, wow, it's possible. This thing opened up. And then I kept on going. And then that gap of silence got grew. grew. It got bigger, and it got bigger, and it got bigger, and pretty soon, after a while, it was very seldom that I was distracted, or very seldom that I heard anything like that. And then you keep going, and then you, you like you, just like anything you do, you fine tune it, you fine tune it, and you work on the finer points until you know you're very fluid with your mind, very fluid like a gymnast with your mind. So wherever you're at, wherever you're at in your meditation practice, there's room to grow uh, and you can do it simply by practicing on a daily basis. And it, you'll get there. You will get there. I promise you that. If I got there, you can get there. Because I, I, I will bet money that no one in this room has <coughs> a crazy head like I had. <laughs> maybe you do. Well, maybe Joyce does. Joyce is okay. Anyway, and uh, then your life will begin to change you know, when when the inner silence begins to grow. So let's do another meditation. And I just want to say for anyone who experienced excruciating leg pains or anything like that, feel free to lie down for this meditation or just stay sitting, whatever you like. Mm -hmm. or, or go up. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Or do a chair, if you like. Anything that you'd like to do. minutes. The challenge is 24 minutes. <coughs> notice that it's going to be easier just to quickly tune in to the last space that you cultivated. This time we'll go right to the breath at the nostrils. As you're making your way, as you're making your mind's focus turn, 
to the physical sensation of the breath passing here the nostrils. Just take a mental tour of your body. Check in, are you sitting up? Or you know, are you relaxed? Is your spine relatively straight? beautiful attitude to take as you enter into meditation is just forget about knowing anything and that you're just receptive you're ready for anything that might happen and you're ready to not even label it just going to experience whatever comes next without needing to know and define and categorize it's like it's something like being use the beautiful object sound itself just as if you were sitting in the middle of a beautiful lush forest warm day, sun rays are making its way through the foliage like beams of light, and you want to see the forest light, but you want to see it and experience it. like it would be if you weren't there. What would the animals be doing? What would the sounds be in the forest if they weren't aware of your presence? You would have to become very still and very quiet. And at the same time, You would have to have this kindness in your heart because the subtle beings in the forest won't come anywhere near you if there's animosity. They're drawn to compassion.
notice the tendency to try and put a picture on the sound. Try and think of that as a veil preventing you from fully experiencing the sound. Really experience the sound. Notice ideas like the sound is outside of me. What point can you even say that the sound is inside of you? So melting the imaginary boundary.
center of your heart. Notice uh, effervescent light there that is also making a sound, spilling out, brimming over, brimming over your heart and coming out your arms, moving down your arms, spilling out of your fingers. that this heart begin to understand that this heart is the source of all sound. Give yourself over to it. So you had an experience of non-conceptuality simply by having an awareness of the sound. Minus the you seeing it. Minus the decider.
hands and always releasing the meditation gently and coming up slowly, gently. Sound is a great object to use in meditation because we're surrounded by it all the time. You know, so don't uh, don't fall for the mind's trap of thinking that it it can't meditate now because there's no because you know it's too loud. That's uh, <coughs> not true. It's just not true. Um, I've done some really profound and deep meditations in the middle of the noisiest situations. You know, uh, it, it's not that I'm. I'm not saying that it's not conducive to meditation to have you know be in a quiet place because it is. But uh, don't let don't let a noisy environment stop you. Uh, one good enough excuse. <laughs> So that's it for tonight. Um, if you'd like to sign up for this meditation marathon and r- help raise money for these people that s- need funds up there, and uh, let Christine know, and she'll take your email and stuff, and even maybe take a picture of you and, and get it going. Or if you'd like to support, you can just support one of the meditators that's doing it. You know, there's no obligation to do anything. The other option is come on the 29th. You can try it out and then sign up after. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. You know, you can just show up. Yeah. Because <laughs> simply because we're meditating all, all yeah. day. <laughs> you can just come up, show up. And you're like, all right, I can do this. I'll is sign up. 6 a.m. to 2? Yeah. 6 a.m. to 2. Ouch. <laughs> I, sense, I sense full snore. <laughs> but if you want, you just give me your email address, how much you'd like to raise. Um, or you can sign up online yourself. Or you can sign up online yourself. But you can make it easy for <laughs> And you have the option of 24 hours or whatever you want. You can do a custom. You know, I'm just going to meditate an hour a day for 30 days. Customize. Customize. All the big deal is to meditate and raise money. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) That's the point. (laughs) Yeah.